Okay, fantastic. Okay, Nina, I've got ready here the model for uh, our students. I say our students because now they are your students because you, yeah, because you are teaching them. Okay, so uh, what can you tell me about prokaryotic cell? Is that right? The way I say? Prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells. Células prokaryotas. Células prokaryotas. Vale. Yes. And okay. what can you tell us about prokaryotic cells? So, prokaryotic cells are exclusive to the living things that make up the kingdom Monera. Examples are bacteria, the cyanobacteria, or green-blue algae, the group which belongs to stromatolites that you studied in geology because they were responsible of O2 release to the atmosphere 3.6 billions of years ago. These living things are very tiny and unicellular. I mean, they are only formed by one cell, but also can join together creating colonies. They generally only measure between one and 10 micrometers. That means one million times less than a meter. One million times less than a meter. Yeah. Wow, so they are so tiny. Uh -huh. Así yeah. que lo que nos conta Nina es que esta organización celular pertenece al reino monera y ejemplos son las bacterias, las cianobacterias, eh, como las algas verde azuis, esas que estudiamos y que liberaban oxígeno eh, a la hay algo 3.600 millones de años eh, y que liberaron oxígeno de da, nuestra atmósfera, ¿eh? por eso te, respiramos oxígeno hoy en día. Entonces son, son muy pequeños, chiños, eh, de 1 a 10 micrómetros, eso es muy pequeño, no lo podríamos ver con un microscopio óptico. Could we Watch it through a microscope. No. 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 So so That's... tiny, I'm afraid. Yeah. Um, can you tell us something about the structures do they have? I can indeed. Oh, thank so, you. They have a cell wall, an outer rigid cover which surrounds the plasma membrane and gives the bacteria its shape. And of course, like all cells, they have a plasma membrane that allows substances exchanged between the outside and inside of the Uh -huh. plasma. A plasma membrane again. So they've got plasma membrane as eukaryotic cells, but also they've got they've got a cell wall. Tienen una pared de celular y una una membrana plasmática. Bueno, bueno, muy bien. Eh, Tienen algo más? Contanos algo más o no? Algo más, sí. Algo más. <laughs> ¿Qué más? <laughs> pues, some prokaryotes have mesosomes. A mesosome is a fold on its plasma membrane. It makes the surface area of the membrane larger and allows more metabolic metabolic activity. Mesosomas. Mes mesosomes. M mesosomes. Meso mesosomes. <laughs> yeah. Mesosomes. Vale, mesosomas, ¿de acuerdo? O que van a hacer es aumentar a, a superficie, ¿vale? A superficie para tener más in, in zonas de zona de intercambio. Muy bien. And anything else? So, their cytoplasm does not present any organelles except for ribosomes, and they are smaller than those that you will observe in eukaryotic cells. Also, inside the cell, they have an area called a nucleoid, which consists of um, large DNA um, molecule located on a region of the cytoplasm. Aha, uh -huh, in a region of the cytoplasm. Okay, so I am observing here in the model, they are watching now at the same time, uh, all the DNA is in the middle of the cytoplasm, but they are not inside of a nucleus, no están dentro de un núcleo. Y, eh, por eso que es una célula procariota. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Yo pienso que están entendiendo bastante bien, ¿eh, Nina? ¿Ti qué dices? Sí. Yo pienso que sí. ¿Ti qué dices? ¿Que sí o que no? Todo de acuerdo. ¿Que estás de acuerdo? <risa> vale, vale. Eh... <risa> ¿Y qué más tienen los procariotas que les podamos contar a, a estos estudiantes? Pues seguimos. Sometimes they have plasmids. A plasmid is a fragment of DNA. Outside the membrane, some species have flagella, longer extensions and are used for locomotion. And fimbrae, short, and used to attach to the cell of the substratum where they live. Ok, so... Así que teñen os plásmidos, que son estos que vamos a este por aquí. Teñen una, un flagelo, 
muy bien, que está por aquí, ¿vale? Para moverse y además estos cilios que estoy viendo por aquí, que son numerosos y curtos y que sirven para fijarse a un, a un sustrato, a un sustrato donde viven, ¿vale? Aquí lo tenemos y esto nos... Aquí está, un zoom, perfecto. Bueno, pues yo creo que quedó bastante claro Procariota. I think it's quite clear. I think so too. Okay, so can we can we go ahead? Yes. What's up next? What can we talk about next? What about eukaryotic cells? Yeah, I think it's a nice idea because we explained, we already explained prokaryotic cell, so let's go with eukaryotic cells. Wait a minute because I'm going to choose again eukaryotic cell. 